All right, sometimes you have a YouTube video that you want to show with your class, but it may be way too long. And uh, I remember what it's like being in the classroom and that time was just very precious and valuable. We really didn't have time to wait. And if I had an eight minute video to really show one minute worth of information, I really didn't have time to spend eight minutes investing in that when I really just wanted one minute. So typically we would scrub to that part of the video try to find it real quickly, watch the minute, and then turn it off. Well, with TubeChop, we can do that much easier. Just with a little planning ahead makes it so much easier. So let's jump in and let me show you how to use TubeChop to help you as you use YouTube videos for your classroom. Just go to TubeChop.com and here you can uh, use it as a search engine to search uh, YouTube. I'll search for types of volcanoes and it will search YouTube and give me all the YouTube video results that I can scroll through and take a look at. You'll notice on the right hand side if you already know what video you're looking for look on the right hand side and it will tell you who did the video how many times it was viewed and how long it is so that may help you identify oh yeah that's the video I'm looking for. If not you can just click through each one and watch it scrub to the part to see if that's what you need and then when you're ready you can chop it. So I'm just going to use this first video which is only 3 minutes 26 seconds but I really don't want to show not wanting to show 3 minutes 26 seconds I really only only want to show uh, almost a minute of information. So let me click on that link and this will pull up the video. The video will play through here in the main part of the screen but if you notice down here on the left hand side it will uh, show you where it happens to be in the video uh, as it plays along and then this bar down at the bottom is what you really want to pay attention to and that's going to be like our bookends where we can set the beginning and ending section for the video uh, just the part that we want. So for example, as I'm watching it, I could just move Here this in. And I can set the where I want the video to start and where I want the video to end. Or if I'm watching it through and I pay attention to this number over here, I can make note of that. And then I can say, oh yeah, I want it to actually start at 1 minute 54 seconds. And I want it to end at 2 minutes 43 seconds. Once I just type those in, I can click Update, and it will automatically uh, adjust my bookends to my video uh, just for the parameters that I've set. Once I've done that, and I have my video exactly like I want it, then I just click on Chop It, and what it will do is it will render uh, give me a new link and this is a tube chop link not a YouTube but a tube chop link that I can then share with my students I can tweet I can post however I need to do it and when students or anybody goes to that link <clears throat> it will just give them uh, that minute of video that I'm wanting them to watch starting and ending exactly where I said now it really doesn't edit the video and the fact that it doesn't uh, delete the beginning, it doesn't trim the beginning and ending off, that video still resides in its full capacity on YouTube. But it just says jump to this part and start playing and when it gets to this part, end it. Your students won't know that it was a 3 minute 26 video unless they actually uh, look up the title of the video on YouTube and go to it. So, hope that helps as you learn to use TubeChop to help you be more efficient in your classroom as you're sharing YouTube videos. This is also a great thing for your kids to use if they're sharing videos back, demonstrating understanding or maybe videos that they've created and they're only wanting to share a certain part during a presentation. Hope this was helpful and if you, can, uh, if you have any other questions or have any uh, ideas of how you could use TubeChop in your classroom or how you are using it in your classroom, I'd love to hear from you. You can contact me at bellis at tcea.org. If you're on Twitter, follow us at twitter.com slash TCEA, or jump over to Facebook and like us. We try to share out a variety of tips and tricks, ideas that you can use in your classroom to make things uh, more efficient as you engage students with technology. Thanks so much, and hope you have a great day.